1991, Frank Hunt and a friend went up to Golden Valley area deer hunting and camped out in a tent in the yard of Fellowship Baptist Church. It was very cold for November in the area and during the night, Frank got very cold and got up walking around to get warm. He happened to get up to look towards the church and notice that the lights were on in the church and he figured that he would go inside and get warm. Maybe he walked the, the 50 feet or so from his friends in the campsite over to the church and he heard singing and, and coming and inside the church. When he got to the door, he could still hear singing coming from inside of the church, but the door's latch was fastened from the outside. He said he thought to himself, he said, to see what was going on inside the church and maybe to get warm. But when he unlatched the door and opened the door, was not the church was not only dark, but there was no one there. He said the hair stood up on the back of his neck because he had clearly heard people singing inside the church and he knew for a fact the lights had been on in the church when he came out of the tent when he was sh that he was sharing with his friend. He said when he went back to the tent and woke up his friend, when they looked towards the church, the windows were again aglow with light and singing could be very clearly heard from the church. He and his friend walked back over and looked inside and of course were no lights and no one was there. Frank said that he and his friend packed their stuff and went home and did not even hunt the day because it happened. Frank said after he and his friend saw and heard all they, all they wanted was to get far away from the church as possible. He said that over the years he and his friends hunted in the area, but they said they did not camp at the churchyard again. Hey guys, it's Dylan and we are on our way right now to the Fellowship Baptist Church in Golden Valley, North Carolina. We don't know that much about it, but we've heard that the church is haunted. We've heard um, these ghost stories that were just uh, told by me um, and from this online page, which I'm going to link at the bottom of the description. I appreciate everybody's stories, uh, true or wrong. It's, it's pretty interesting to figure that out. But uh, we, we appreciate um, you guys watching us, and we will cut to you guys whenever we get to the church. Hope to see you guys there. All right, guys, so we just made it to Fellowship Baptist Church. There was actually just some people out here uh, with us a second ago, but they all decided to leave. Um, this is called Fellowship Baptist Church. Like I said, we are in Golden Valley, North Carolina. But here's what it says in front. It's pretty cool. And then you've got Trey in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. That was weird. This is basically it. It's just an old country church. Yep. Um, and there's a door right there. It probably fit maybe, I'd say probably 40 people at the most. Um, you got your Bible. Watch this. It's pretty dang cool. It's not even built to do that. But yeah, this is like the pulpit I'm guessing. Um, I don't know when this church was built. I actually haven't done that much research on it like history wise. But um, I did find a hymnal. I don't know what that is. I think it's in the daytime at least. Yeah, like it's just, it's very peaceful. It's very, um, it's just out in the middle of nowhere. It's. And also there's lighting fixtures. Oh, yeah, there's lighting out here too. So And, and there's a power socket behind you. And there's someone. A power outlet right there. And someone said that, um, oh, yeah, here's something from the, here's something. It says, Mountain's pastor gets $5 per year, um, yep. serves a charge of Mountain people as a minister for just $3 salary. That's Albert Hudson. He was a pastor here. I don't know what this is. It says, it's like a letter or something. It says, Fellowship Baptist Church, the old church is a log church constructed in around 1888. Oh, that's when it was built. And it said it was a sitting out beyond the graveyard to the back of the present church. The present church was constructed on or around 1945 to 1946 with several local people helped with construction. Reverend Albert Hudson gave the timber to be cut for the church. And Mr. Field Brackett and Jim Ellington hauled the logs to Mr. Mr. Brackets sawmill and cut the lumber for construction. Some of the people who worked on the construction of the church are Reverend Albert Hudson, John Butler, Lauren Smith, Ernest Bungarner, Jim Ellington, Ray Smith, Marva Smith, uh, Joan, Joni uh, Hudson, and others. And said so we are working on some some more history of the church, and it kind of it's pretty cool. It's kinda, I guess it's just kind of like the historical foundation of the Rufford County did this, where it's just people that own the. And you've got, and they've got some modern Bibles in here. Like, I don't know if this is a, oh, these are King James translations. There's a new King James right there. So there's different translations and stuff. And um, let me see what we got out here. All right. And also out here, I guess we can go look at some of the graveyards. I'm well, not, we can go look at the graveyard. Um, we can go behind the church and see what it looks like back here. Um, this is what it looks like from behind. And it's actually built on rock. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, we'll come over here to where the graveyard is. An old well pump. Yeah. 
check this out. This is a, it's an old well pump, he said. He said they used to have them down in Georgia. I have never seen one of those. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's pumping water. That's pretty awesome. You had to keep pumping it down in Georgia. That's pretty dang awesome. But yeah, let's let's go look at some of the graveyard over here. And this this graveyard seems to be up kept 1836 to 1917. That's pretty awesome. Lawrence Smith uh, was in World War II and they died. They were born in 1905 and they died in 1995. So this must be their home church. Sarah Ann Epley, she was born in 1880 and she died in 1945 of sleeping Jesus. That's a pretty cool gravestone. That was the biggest one here. Oh yeah, let's see. Maybe this is the pastor's one. Uh, Susie Bumgarner. Someone's been digging. Yeah. Uh, Major M. Mack Smith, loving grandpa. So it must be like a grandpa that went to this church. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like from here. What do you think of it, Trey? Pretty neat. I was just putting the sand. I was just oh, putting okay. the sand back because someone had moved the sand off. Oh, okay. You need to pat it back down. Yeah, but this is what the church looks like. I'm gonna take some pictures here, so I'm gonna get out get out of uh, filming mode. But we'll be back here in just one second. Hey guys, it's Dylan. We're on our way back from the Fellowship Baptist Church in Golden Valley, North Carolina. Um, just wanted to come up with some prog with some uh, things that we thought were good about the church. Um, the church is very awesome. It's two miles up in the woods in the middle of absolute nowhere. It's a gravel road. You have to take a gravel road up there, and you also have to pass by a creek. So make sure if you are driving, make sure you're driving a truck or a four-wheel drive vehicle. That's one note for this. We are driving a Honda Civic, which is not full-wheel drive, and somehow still got up there. So praise God for that one. And we didn't get shot by any stray bullets. Yeah, we didn't get shot. Um, it's actually on a hunting. It's on a hunting. Ground. Hunting ground. Yeah, whatever they're called. Up. Like, yeah, hunting ground, like where people can go hunt for like deer and stuff. But yeah. That's about it for us today. Um, wait, wait. Back home right now. I'm gonna edit the footage. Um, you can still enjoy the ghost stories. There really wasn't that much ghost stuff there. Ooh. I, think, I think it's just folklore <laughs> and stuff about the county. Just people trying to like hop stuff up that really isn't hopped up. Or is it? <laughs> But the but the church does does still have active services. They had a lot of books in there. Like you you'll you'll see in the video that they're like pretty still, old too. Yeah, there's still hymnals. There's still Bibles and there's some newer Bibles and stuff in there. Then they have a they have a homecoming service and they also have a memorial memorial day service. So if you ever go there, be respectful of the books. Don't yeah. damage them or anything. And make sure you put them exactly in the same place that you found them in. Right. And also make sure to um, be very respectful of the place. There's a graveyard right beside it. Do not go stepping on the graves or whatever. Right. But yeah, we're, we're on our way back to Forest City right now. This is actually right um, in, but yeah, we're, we're, it's actually in Rutherford County. Oh my gosh, the car almost hit me. Um, Rutherford County. Yeah, we're in Rutherford County now. Remember all the soldiers we saw buried? Yeah, we, we saw uh, several World War II and World War I uh, soldiers buried. Um, pretty pretty awesome. The church was built around 1888 and then it was rebuilt like in like the 1940s from my understanding. I actually read it out so you guys could hear the history of the church. Um, I think it's the R Rutherford Historical Foundation that did something on it. But yeah, what, what were your takeaways, Trey, from it? Did you like it? Yeah. Oh, and to all my fellow friends out there, make sure you show respect to all the soldiers buried there. Before you leave, give them a good salute. Right. But anyways, that is our take from the Fellowship Baptist Church in Golden Valley, North Carolina. Um, if you guys want more videos like this of us going and exploring places and just, and just going out and seeing places. Hey, look, there's sure another to, flag. Yeah. Be sure to give us a, um, a like on this YouTube video or whatever platform we're on right now. Um, we hope you enjoy this video, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.